Uh, this is Pastor Sarah, and I wanted to show you how to do a few things in Alvanto when it comes to printing labels for parents and children. So to begin, we're going to go into our web browser here, and we're going to go to newcommunity.alvanto.net, and we're going to log in. The login should be saved there on the, your computer, but there will be a cheat sheet there in the room for you as well to refer to. We're going to log in as Kid Check in here, and it's going to take you right here to this screen. You are going to want to go to the admin drop down and select Check In. Now, to start a print station, you'll see this button right here. Click Start Print Station, and you will select the appropriate room that you are in. So if you are in the adventurer's room, you would select adventurer's room. And what that's going to do is it's going to pop up a tab right here. And that tab is acting as the printer for your room. So you're going to want to leave that open. I'm not going to select one right now because I want to show you a couple of other things. But as soon as you select that tab, it's going to pop up this window here. And you do not want to close that tab down. If you close it down, the printer will stop working. So we're going to act like that tab's open here, and we're going to leave this screen open. So what I would recommend is that you leave this tab here on check-in left open on the device, either the Microsoft Surface or the computer or tablet you have in your classroom. And then also, of course, leave the printer tab open as well while that printer runs in the background. Now this tab, what it's going to allow you to do is to look up children and parents and to do different things like printing labels, checking them out of service, or even contacting the parents. So first, let me show you how to print a label for someone who maybe lost their label or for whatever reason it didn't print. What you can do is, here in this drop down, you can select to look them up either by first or last name. So we're gonna select last name, and I'm going to look up the Escamilla family here, okay? And so here we see, let's say you were wanting to print a label for Aiden. You're going to see anyone in the system, even archived kiddos, with that last name. And then we're going to click on that, that kiddo. Now whenever you click on them, it's going to bring up their entire family here. And you're going to see that I've already checked Aiden into the 930 service, his classroom, his code. And you could see that you could check him out. You could check him into another service. Um, but let's say that you just need to print his labels again because his labels didn't print. You're going to hit print label and then finish. And that's going to automatically send those labels to the printer in the room that Aiden is in, hopefully your room. Um, if you do select print all labels, that's going to reprint labels for any kiddo that is checked in to the service. Um, and so you want to try to just hit print label for that child that is in the classroom that you are in. Now here you'll notice also that you could SMS the parent. So if you're having a struggle with a child, they've been crying for a while, um, you know, our 15 minute rule, or they're sick or just need some attention, you can click SMS parent. That's going to bring up um, all of the primary, the, the parents or adults listed on their account, so if there's other grandparents or other adults, it'll bring up all of their numbers here. And you can see that it even pre-populates the message. Your child, their name, requires your attention and in the appropriate room. So you don't need to do anything else other than hit send. And it will send that text message to the parents in the services right there. I hope that this answers questions you have about checking children into the service, pre-printing, um, or I'm sorry, printing labels for the child or the adult, and also for contacting the parents using Elvanto on the device in your classroom. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out by email or text. I hope you have a great day.